Mathematicians, in this lesson you will learn how to count fractions to make one whole by looking at the equal parts of a whole to figure out the name of each equal part. You know that when we talk about whole numbers, we are talking about numbers like 1, 2, 3, and so on. You also know that when we talk about fractions, we are talking about taking a whole or whole number and breaking it into equal parts. When we talk about wholes, we can be talking about a number of different things. We could be talking about a whole shape that we can break into equal parts, like this. We could be talking about a whole set that we could break into equal parts, like this. Or we could be talking about whole numbers on a number line that we could break into equal parts, like this. We also know that when we write fractions, we write them in a special way, with a numerator on the top, the numerator tells us the part that we are thinking about, and then the denominator on the bottom. The denominator tells us the total number of equal parts in the whole. It is very important to know that when we break a whole into equal parts or fractions, when we put all of those equal parts back together, we get the whole that we started with. I'm going to show this to you by looking at this circle. This circle is our whole. If I want to break it up into equal parts, it might look like this. To figure out how to count up all of the parts in this whole, first I would have to figure out what to call each part. I can see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six pieces in this whole. And if I have broken a whole into six equal pieces, that means that each fraction or each equal piece is called a sixth. Just like I can count pennies or shoes, one penny, two pennies, one shoe, two shoes, three shoes, I can count sixths in just the same way. Watch this. One sixth, two sixths, three sixths, four sixths, five sixths, six sixths. When I counted all of the pieces in this whole circle and put them all together, I got the whole that I started with. Six sixths looks like this. Six is the numerator because that's the number I'm thinking about, all of the parts. And six is also the denominator because that's the total number of parts that make up this whole. When the numerator and the denominator are the same, this fraction equals or is the same as one whole. That is because the part that we are thinking about, the numerator, is all of the parts. We are thinking about six out of a total of six equal parts in this circle. Six sixths is equal to one whole. Let's see how this works in a problem. Sam has a candy bar that is broken into equal parts that look like this. Sam thinks that if he gives away three-thirds of his candy bar, he will still have a piece left over for himself. Is he right or wrong? Well, to solve this problem, first we would have to count the pieces in the candy bar. We see that it is split into three equal parts, so that means that each equal part is called a third. If he gives away three-thirds, that would look like this. One-third two-thirds, three-thirds. If he gives away three-thirds, or three out of his three total pieces, he's given away his whole candy bar. The numerator is three, because that's the part we're thinking about, the three pieces that he gives away. And three is the denominator, because that's the total number of parts that makes up the whole candy bar. 3 over 3, or 3 thirds, equals 1 whole. Sam is giving away his whole candy bar and will not have a piece left over for himself. Sam is wrong. Now you know how to count fractions to make one whole by looking at the equal parts of a whole to figure out the name of each equal part.